Hey guys, we have another adjustable stroke machine for you today. That's Tat Vita. It goes from 2.4 to 4.2 millimeter stroke, which is pretty wide of a range. And we're gonna get you that $35 off if you use our link in the description below. We wanna check this out on some silicone first. Let's do that right here without further ado. Don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Let's check it out. Here we are, live in La Vida Loca. Let's begin. Thank you, Tat Vita. We are revolutionizing our tat life. So there it is, the Tat Vita. As you can see, it has the stroke lengths right here from 2.4 to 4.2. Very easy to remember. So we have all of those adjustments. We have this battery here, which looks nice and small. And we have a pretty uh, pretty nice grip here. This is not a lightweight grip. All right, so the weight is 221 grams, and I feel like it is weighted properly at the tip, as you can see here. So that's looking good. Let's see what the battery looks like when we turn it on. You need a little charge. Let me just stick it on the charger real quick. It looks like it was just sent without a charge so no problem i'm just gonna give that a minute all right we've been charging for about 15 minutes and let's take this out should have a charge on it now there it is so we have a cool little tap vita screen and nice big display 0.1 increments looks like we got about a quarter charge out of that notably the battery does come off of this machine. So let's try it out with some needles. All right, I got the floaty grip on the Tat Vita machine. Here it is. Take a little closer look. Brand new color. And we have these liners here. This is a three round liner, nine round liner, a 14 round shader, and a 25 curve mag. We should mention the price of the Tat Vita. It's $229.99 right now, and that does not include the $35 off if you use our link in the description below. There it is, the black steel floaty grip. And there it is with the needle on. Cool. Didn't sound like a wind-up toy, so that's a good start. All right, I'm gonna just play around at 3.3 uh, stroke length first that is on the lower side because this is a smaller needle. Felt a little shaky. I'm just gonna bring it up a little. I'm preferring the, the punch of the 3.6 millimeter setting for that one. They're both getting in fine. Uh, I'm gonna play around a little more. Yeah, it just seems straighter there at eight. So let's see if we go back down to 3.3. If that 8 still feels good or if that 3.6 is where we want to be. Yeah, I, like, I still like the 3.6. I felt like a little steadier on that one. Okay, I'm going back to my setting at 3.6 millimeters. I'm at 8 volts with this 3 round liner with this Tat Vita machine. The 7.5 felt a little too low, honestly, for the way I like to pull my lines.
Okay, now that I got this thing calibrated to where I think it needs to be for my hand speed, I feel like I'm getting better lines. They look crisp and I feel like they look saturated even when I move a little faster, so I'm happy with that. I'm going to try stipple shading with it as well. I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. That's seven. All right, so uh, I ended up with uh, my favorite settings for whip shading on this machine at 6.8 volts, um, and I'm at 3.6 millimeters. So there it is, the uh, whip shading with the Tap Vita machine. So we'll move on now to the nine round liner. I have this nine round liner on here now, and uh, we definitely wanna be at least at that 3.6. Since I was at eight for the Three round liner, I would guess we should start at eight. We'll move up from there as as needed. Here you can see. All right, so the nine round liner seems to be getting in the silicone really well. Looks very saturated and straight, so I'm happy with how the nine round liner is performing with this Tap Vita. Um, it seems to be a nice, nice amount of settings just to get that nine round liner in just right. Um, we do want to try something a little bigger though, just to make sure that it can do that. So let's put the 14 round shader on now. I'm going to go up to 3.9. So I'm really happy with how I feel the needles penetrating on the silicone. Let me just wipe this off and take a look. See if it looks as good as it feels. Very nice. So here is a 14 round shader. You can see a really nice crisp bold line here and here. Uh, so honestly, uh, this machine seems to be heavy hitting enough to handle the larger needle groupings. That's really good. Uh, considering it has all these stroke lengths, we wanna make sure that uh, we can actually utilize them. Uh, being just at 3.9 uh, for the 14 round shader is a really good sign. I kinda wanna move it up just to see what that 4.2 feels like. I'm just curious. So it is really digging in the in the silicone nicely there. No problem penetrating super well. Maybe even a little better. I definitely feel like I could move a little faster at the 4.2. All right, so beautiful. Uh, even actually maybe even slightly more bold and crisp, but very nice both settings. I could see utilizing 
um, one for a certain part of the body maybe than another as well. So it's good to have that versatility and not have to max it out. You can see you get good lines in both of those settings, but I could easily uh, slow my hand speed down for this one and speed it up for this one to get that effect that I want. All right, so obviously very versatile with all those awesome stroke lengths. It can handle the larger needle groupings, which is a pretty big deal. And let's take a look at how it handles that mag as well. Okay. This is 25 curve mag. All right, let's put on this 25 curve mag. Just kidding, it's not a curve mag. It's a flat mag. I'm gonna start down at 3.6. I shade with curve mags, but uh, we're gonna just show this one for now. Filling it out a little bit here. That feels pretty good right in there. Since it is a larger needle grouping, that's probably why I'm at 3.9 uh, at my nice feeling shade here. Am I right though? Okay, so I'm at seven volts and I am at 3.6 millimeters, which does make sense for shading. I do feel like I'm getting the smoothest shade that way. Here it is. It's the one I'm showing you right here in those settings right here so nice smooth shade you can see there very nice light shade so not too heavy hitting you'll be able to control that All right, we have a nice gradient here now from dark to light with that nice setting that we like. Beautiful. I'm gonna turn it up now and we'll try using this flat mag on its side. I'm at eight volts. I'm still at 3.6, 7.8 volts. So now I have the mag, I'm turning on its side and I'm at 7.8 volts. I've kept it at 3.6 millimeters as well. It's getting in there pretty well. I want to see if I can punch it in even better at 3.9. All right, now I think I had it right there at 3.6. Those lines look best. So there they are. Here's the mag on its side. You can see really nice and steady lines in there. So that's it. All right, guys, I'll let you make up your mind for yourself. You saw it right here on the Floaty channel. I test all the machines they send me. This is the Tat Vita. It's $35 off right now. You can get it on tapvita.com. Use the link in the description below if you want to get that discount. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Thanks guys. Bye. Thank you. Bye.